My name is Jesse, and I am here to introduce David to demo the newest product from Fabius GR, Sugar Box Integration. Uh, over 225,000 businesses and 99% of the Fortune 500 companies have already discovered how Box delivers a secure, scalable platform for sharing and collaborating around your files. And uh, now David's going to show us how we can integrate that with Sugar. David? Thanks, Jesse. Uh, we're really excited about our latest integration product, uh, integrating Sugar with Box. You know, we're long-time Box users here internally at a Business Systems Group, and we have a number of clients that have been using Box for a while, and so we're really excited about uh, bringing these two great products together. This is going to be a really quick demo just to give you a flavor for how it works uh, with Sugar 7 and Box. Um, and obviously, if you want a deeper dive demo, we can arrange that and, and coordinate that with our sales team. So I'm going to start just in the admin area just to show you how it's configured because the way we've set this up is that you can link box folders and files to any module within Sugar. And so for purposes of this demo, I'm going to show you uh, box files related to an account, box files related to a contact, box files related to a lead. But you can actually you can link them to opportunities or any projects, anything else that you're doing in Sugar. So in the administration section, of Sugar, there's a uh, option called connectors, and we've you know built our integration out of the connectors area. So if you look in connectors, and we look at set connector properties, you can see an option here for the FabSG Sugar Box integration, and our Sugar Box integration really gives you the ability to uh, configure the integration to work the way you want it to work. So you can design what how you want the size of the box of the window to be and other things like that. But the key thing is uh, assigning the top level directory and some box. And as you may know, in the box file hierarchy, there's uh, folders. And so what we've done is we've said, OK, there's going to be a top level folder. And then beneath that can be accounts or leads or contacts or whatever else you want to link. So the top level directory we've called Sugar CRM. Once that, we go into enable the connectors, and we're going to enable our SugarBox integration. And in this way, you tell it what modules you want the SugarBox integration to work with. So we've currently enabled it to accounts, contacts, leads, and opportunities. Obviously, you can pick any one of these just by picking it over here and dragging it. And lastly, you know, the, the cool part in this is mapping the field. So with our SugarBox integration, you can tell it in each module where the box folder name is. So for example, in accounts, we've said whatever the name field is in the account, that's going to be the name of the folder in box to use. Obviously, you can pick any field you want off this drop-down list. You can have custom fields or standard sugar fields. As you can see, regardless of the module, you can have a different field assigned for the box folder name. So in contacts, we pick the name called name, full name. In leads, we pick the field called account name. In opportunities, we pick the field called opportunity name. That means the opportunity name in sugar will match the opportunity name, will be the folder name in box. And that's really all there is to configuring the integration. Once the integration is configured, if you were to go into an account screen, we have an account here called Jungle Systems. You see over here, right, uh, on the intelligence pane, we have a box window with all of the related uh, box files here. And basically, you have full functionality, full box functionality with this. So for example, if you click on this, it does a preview. You can close it out. You can also easily drag a file into that. So if I have a folder or a, a file on my desktop, I can just take this file, drag it right there. And now that file is not only in Box, it's also in Sugar. And so that's pretty cool. It makes it really easy to upload files into your Sugar system. And it's in Box, which means it's backed up. There's um, you know, all the power of Box um, stored in Sugar. And the other cool thing is you can have users on your network that are accessing Box and dragging files and updating files in Box that may or may not have access to Sugar, and you get to see all that right here. In addition, uh, the security within Box applies 
within this window. So if I'm a user in Box and I don't have access to this folder, I won't be able to see any of these files. Whereas if I do, I will. In addition, as you may know with Box, there's a very powerful uh, security engine, which means you know you can assign rights for viewing, editing, downloading, all that kind of stuff. Uh, that all that flows through here. So if I have rights to see a file but I can't edit it in Box, that will transfer here as well. Um, so it's really exciting stuff all within the Sugar framework. This is the account screen. If you were to look at a lead, it looks exactly the same way. You'll see this lead. You notice the folder name in Box. Com Sailing Inc. is actually equal to the account name over here in Sugar. That's how they match up. There's no folders or files in here now. But again, if I go back to my documents, and I just want to drag this in there, um, it'll drag that in there. Lastly, if I look at my contacts screen, again, contacts, it says uh, the folder name in box is Tisha Grow. It's related to the contact name over here in Sugar. You can see there's one file here. Again, dragging and dropping, really easy. Okay, if I want, if I click on it, it displays it. This happens to be a logo file. If I click this, I get all my normal box functionality. I can download the file. I can lock the file. I can, if I have box edit installed, I can edit the file from right here. That's a really cool box feature, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So again, I think this is a, a quick overview of the integration, and I hope it gave you a flavor for. Um, for how it all works. And if you want more information, please uh, contact us. Uh, I think the, um, our information is right here, our phone number, our email address. And uh, we're happy to talk to you more, do a more deeper dive demo, and talk about how it could really work well for you. Thanks for watching.